Adobe Muse is the best way for anyone to create a responsive website for desktop and mobile devices without having to write a single line of code. Because Muse is a freeform design tool, you'll never be boxed in using frameworks or templates, and your resulting design can be as unique and creative as your imagination allows. Because Muse is part of the Creative Cloud, you have access to thousands of premium fonts, millions of images, and starter designs that make it fast and easy. Let's take a look at some of these features in action. Now, when it comes to fonts, Adobe Muse takes a quantum leap forward in the world of web design. The inclusion of thousands of premium Typekit web fonts allows you to visually design your sites right there on the canvas. When it's time to publish, you can rest assured that your Typekit fonts will load dynamically with a consistent look and feel across all desktop and mobile browsers. Integration with Creative Cloud libraries makes sharing assets a breeze. Colors selected in Adobe Capture or wireframes from Adobe Comp can be transferred from your touch-enabled device to your desktop computer. Assets created in Photoshop and Illustrator appear directly within Muse in the Creative Cloud Library panel. From within the panel, you can browse and select from your collection, or better yet, search through millions of images and videos with the Adobe Stock integration. Widgets within Muse allow you to take common web patterns and easily configure and style them to match your site design. Interactive elements like mobile menus, button rollovers, and light boxes make your site that much more engaging to the viewer. To add a widget like a contact form, simply go to the widgets library, select a form, drag it on the canvas, and from there configure fonts, colors, and specific form elements like a CAPTCHA spam filter. When you're ready to add more advanced functionality such as an online store or a blog, simply go to the library panel and click Find More Library Items Online. In the Widgets directory, you can search for the functionality you're looking for. Once you've installed it, press and drag the widget onto the canvas and then customize it to match the look and feel of your site. The recent introduction of responsive tools within Adobe Muse gives you the power to design content that looks good on everything from desktop down to tablet and smartphone devices. And referencing a single URL for all device views assures optimum search engine rankings. To create an even more engaging experience, add scroll effects. Simply select an object on the canvas, and in the scroll effects panel, choose the effects you'd like to apply. With the opacity effect, notice how images on this page gradually appear as I scroll down. Applying a different speed of scroll to this background image simulates a three-dimensional perspective known as parallax scrolling. And the navigation at the top of the page remains pinned or fixed even on touch-enabled devices like tablets and smartphones. Once you've completed your design and you're ready to publish it on the web, you have a number of options. You can easily preview any individual page or the entire site on your own machine by selecting Preview in Browser. In the Publish drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner of the application, you can select to FTP your content to the hosting provider of your choice, host with Adobe, or export as HTML to a folder on your desktop. When the site is live, you can allow site owners to make simple edits to text and images directly in any web browser using in-browser editing. Any edits your site owners make over time can easily be synchronized back into your original design within Adobe Muse. If you're anyone who wants to create responsive freeform websites without having to write code, Adobe Muse is the tool for you total creative expressiveness while giving you the confidence that the sites you create will load quickly, work across multiple browsers and devices, and are optimized for search engines. I encourage you to download a free trial of the application and give it a try.